It's Thursday, July 11th. Coming up live on The View, Good Morning America's Sam Champion and Latin TV mega mogul Nelly Galan are both guest co-hosting to weigh in on hot topics. From how Justin Bieber's latest shocking act ended in a call with President Clinton to a first-hand account of a run-in with Amanda Bynes last night. Plus, Orange is the New Black star Jason Biggs is telling you about starting up trouble on Twitter with everyone from Amanda Bynes to the Pope and showing off his Magic Mike audition tape. And John Quinones is back with more squirm-worthy scenes that put regular people in uncomfortable public situations. To find out, what would you do? All that, hot topics, and more, coming up live on The View. I totally recognize you. <laughs> so let me tell you, in case you... We'll, we'll get there, because I recognize you both, as you know, very well. So yesterday, Elizabeth Hasselbeck uh, made the announcement that she was going to leave us to join the Fox News team, and we're very happy for her. We miss her, but we're very happy for her. Whoopi and Shay. Yeah. You feel that way, too. We give her a big applause. So Whoopi and Shay both have... The day off. Thank yeah, goodness other, she came in. They have in. other things to do they today. <laughs> However, we are blessed because we have two wonderful guest hosts this day yeah. today. We have Good Morning America anchor and ABC News weather editor. Now I know your full now title. The full title. There Sam you Champion, who came in. Champion? No, I just made it up on the way in. So seriously? Well, no, it? yeah, I was born there. Yeah. My dad, also... Colonel Champion. My mom is Sylvia Jean Murphy Champion. Yeah, the whole thing. Wow. No, no, was a stage name too. No, no. Yeah, so let me introduce you, Nellie, because we're very pleased to have Nellie Galan with us. And for those of you who may not know everything about Nellie, but before I hear everything about you, I just want to tell everybody that the way you came in this morning was the way I liked. You look better. Just t-shirt and, and gym shorts. And shorts and <laughs> flip-flops. That was quite a sight. Uh, the gym, right? Howdy, howdy. I've known Barbara for 30 years now. You were, I worked 30 years. We did. I can't believe that. But, yeah. I can't believe it either because I was so young at the time. <laughs> anyway, we have Nellie Galan with us. Tell people about you because you have an extraordinary story and I want people to know more well, about you. Well, first of all, I'm Latina, Barbara, and I have to do a shout out to all the Latinas in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> And I started, I'm, I'm from Cuba, emigrated to the United States when I was five years old, and I'm from New York, New Jersey. And I was the first, thank you, first woman president of a, of a Latino network, Telemundo. Does everybody know Telemundo? Yeah. Yeah. And I've had my own business for about 15 years. I'm like Latina Tyler Perry. And many of you may know, I've done a lot of shows in Spanish and English, and you may know one of my shows, The Swan, The Makeover Show. Yeah. Which, which we're redeveloping with celebrities. We're redeveloping the swan with celebrities. But I think the thing I'm the most proud of is that I just took four years off and I went back to school and I got a master's and doctorate in clinical psychology. So you're a shrink. I'm a shrink. That's wonderful. But when you have such a successful career and you're going to bring back your reality show, what are you going to do with the master's degree and can, you know... You know, I think, I think it's important for many of us to take yeah. time off and to take a sabbatical and yes. to grow. Right. You know, when my son said to me, Mom, why should I go to college? You've done so well and you didn't finish. Yeah. I thought, no, I think school is very important and it's very important for minorities. And for me, it just changed my whole life to be able to go back and have a perspective and come back to this business fresh. And now I'm raring to go. But that Swan show was crazy. I have to tell it was you. Crazy. I mean, they actually would give plastic surgery to people. Yeah. Uh, did you ever partake of yourself? Well, you know what? I hate when women don't admit what they've had done. Haven't we all had a little something done? No. Botox? Botox, yeah. Okay. I admit it. okay. What else? I think, I think. These are real. You know? yeah. And by the way, Joy. I know, but <laughs> Thelma is bigger than Louise. <laughs> That's the issue. If I had to Between fix it. Between you and Sherry and me, we are.
worthy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? The show was really about transformation and women that had gone, and we did a lot of psychology and life coaching, which is what inspired me to go back to school. But the truth is, I think women get to, you know, life is rough for women. You know, we age, and, you know, if you're a woman that's... don't age? Well, we were talking about, we were, we were we talking about it before the show. And I yeah. think what you said to me makes, makes such sense. Look, life is hard, and everybody works in all directions. You need to be happy inside to be happy to everybody else. That's so the if there's a little thing. something that you want to do that bothers you and you want to do it, go ahead and do it. At some point, there should, be, there should be a moment where you say, this is enough. But what I love about you, and I have, I've just become the biggest fan in about an hour of you... You are so positive, and you you give people this incredible feeling that they can do and be anything. Right. Yeah, I just I love, love being your around slogan. Her. You know what her slogan is? Don't buy shoes, buy buildings. I do. Yeah. That's what I tell women. Don't buy shoes, buy buildings. You Wait, know, how do you, I, I had a week in which I was feeling, and you know, sort of a little so-so. All I did was buy shoes. And, 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 I could not know, afford and a And you building. know, I wake up a lot of times and I say, you know, I think I'll buy a building. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It to me a lot. You know what? <laughs> You, sh you, you could and you should. You know, I'm a rough day. Why don't I buy, buy a building? this one and we can change the set. <laughs> you know, you make a woman with her shoes and I go, she could be buying a lot of buildings with all the That's shoes right. she's bought. But I, you know, I'm an, I'm an entrepreneur before anything else and I really believe in entrepreneurship. You know, my first boss in Channel 47 right here in New York said to me when he sold the station and I ran it and I was, I said, why did you sell the station? And he goes, young lady. Those are my chips. Go get your own chips. And you did? And I did. I went and started my own business. For four years, I made no money. Women, you can't give up. And then when I started making money, I didn't go buy bling and live bigger. I bought buildings. And I think real what all... Is real estate. estate. Yeah. And right. so what women... Something. Right? I <laughs> and what I... You are all applauding. We expect you to leave this studio today and buy a building. Yes. <laughs> you can. That's right. Right you know what? <laughs> Every city in America sells buildings that are for no money, so it's not like it can't be done. But I think the big lesson for women is that we should, you know, I don't believe there's, there's no Prince Charming. I don't think anybody's in, in your life to save you. Not a boss, not a mentor, not a man. You're on your own. I think you're on your own, and I think economic independence, and knowing that you're going to get someday to the point, Barbara, you, you can speak to this, where you, where you can work because you want to, not because you have to. It's That's a, a lot of joy feeling, for but... women. Yeah. It's a good goal. Yeah. I think it's a great goal. And if, and if, you know, the, 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 the toughest thing is to be in a job you don't like. Yeah. And if you're in a job that you like, you will succeed, you know? Mm -hmm. So you said there's no Prince Charming. There is no Prince Charming. However, Sam just got married to his own <laughs> Prince Charming, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, he's been married for eight years. Eight years. Yeah. How, long How, long How long have you been married? We were married December 21st, so th this is where we are now. Six, oh, he's months. in the honeymoon period. Well, See, we had a discussion. <laughs> That's what Barbara says, too. <laughs> we had a discussion in the make I'll let you in, you know, in the makeup room where we're sort of sprucing up. Uh, Joy and I needed the makeup. You two came in looking so divine. Yeah, right. You didn't need anything. But the big... <laughs> <laughs> but the, our big conversation was how long does the honeymoon last? How, what we were really saying was how long does sexual desire last? Yeah, you know, I when you said... first When you first get married, when you first have that relationship, how long does that chemistry where you look at them and you go, okay. yeah, okay, yeah, okay. how long does that last? I think two years, five years most. Oh, I agree with you, unless you don't live together, unless you don't live in the same right, house, right. you travel. That's true. But I think, I think as you Wait, get older... Newlywed. How long is well, it But been? we're back and forth between Miami now. We were together two years before we got married, and then we go back and forth. So we see each other probably three or four days a week. So, so you could last three more years. I agree with that. I think, yeah, I think hopefully we have a couple more years. <laughs> <laughs> It's but, about other things. And I think, I think, look, no offense, but I think, you know, you're gay, and gay, gay people are really excited to get married, and I, this bless is true. you. This is I true. think it's great, and sometimes you want things really bad because you can't have them. Right. But we've had it. And we know that we know what marriage is, right? So we think of it a little differently, and it's, and in a way. You're it's, on your second? Second? Yeah. I got married. Happily, though, happily. First, when I was very young, and then I waited 30, 30 years before I got married how's the second the time. I don't blame 30 you. years, how's the sex? Listen, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he's a good cook, you know? Okay, so uh, let's poll the audience. How we many do the of best you. We can. <laughs> let's put it that way. <laughs> how many of you think do? that the sexual desire ends after two years? Clap.
No, don't do that. Don't clap. Three years. Very few. Four years. Very few. Clap. Yeah, I, think it, I think it's better. <laughs> I, re I really think it's better when you don't put that expectation on the other person to make you happy. And I think when you come with your own chips and you come to a relationship complete, you have a better shot. Yeah, but you, okay, can, you can work it out. You watch porn, you have martinis. <laughs> you, get, you get some kind of gadgets to help you. If you have enough martinis and you're watching porn, you don't need anything else. I want to I, I wanna talk to you about Justin Bieber. Can you remember his... his, his... Yes, Bieber. Well, that, that has the nothing memes. to do with porn and chips. <laughs> He was, uh, his uh, mother was yes. on with us yesterday. Pat left. Yeah, and she said, you know, he's now grown and she doesn't watch everything he does. He has mm. to make his own decisions. But uh, TMZ just released, you know, this, a new video of Justin relieving himself in a mop bucket at a New York City restaurant. Take a look. We're going to watch video. this. Cool, it's about to you know, you'll forever remember that. <laughs> we the what? You're not going to remember. You're not going to remember. You're not going to remember your in the restaurant. Like, everybody does that. Yeah. <laughs> what are we, though, bro? What are we? We the f***ing Wild kids, y'all. Wild kids. Wild kids in this <laughs> Well, it's a little hard to tell. Who's the perv in the back? Yeah, we don't know. But <laughs> reportedly, he apologized uh, to Bill Clinton because he had said he something bad about Bill Clinton. Right. This was very hard to tell. But he, he said something bad about Bill Clinton, and then he apologized to him. And if you want to know what happened after that and whether he heard from Bill Clinton, then you'll just have to stay with us. We'll be right back with more Hot Topics. <laughs>